Yeah. Okay, so listen up. Here we go. Um, what are we doing? Well, we did this yesterday. So this is today. Today being Wednesday. I know it's very confusing. Uh, you'll note there's no recording for 8-4. That's going to be review day on Friday when you're in room... 120. 120, right, okay, with your friendly neighborhood sub. All right, so we're doing integrals that involve trig, and tomorrow's trig substitution, and next week is all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, God, all right. Anyway. Every question was trig. In where? In what? Oh, really? Oh, joy. <laughs> all right, well, let's talk about trig. Here it is. Well, okay. Let's see. You know everything you need to know to do this integral, but probably you don't realize it. Here we go. The integral of sine cubed x cosine squared x dx. Okay, any ideas? Uh, nope. Not by parts, not you sub. Look, if, what if it was just this? What if it was just that? Then it's u and du, right? So you get u squared over 2. Okay, but it ain't. But hint and hint, you can make it so. Yes, you can. Any ideas? Ethan doesn't know anything. He didn't get 100 on the last test. We're, we're ashamed. Yeah, we're surprised. We're flabbergasted. Huh? No? Yes? Maybe? Do you know anything about sines and cosines, how they're related? Remember Uncle Pythagoras? You forgot Uncle Pythagoras already. What? Oh, God, James is brilliant today. Yes, sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. Yes. If sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, let's see, sine squared of an angle plus cosine squared of the same angle is 1, could I possibly, oh, I don't know, let's see, uh, replace sine squared with something? There's a sine squared in here, right? Yeah, so 1 minus cosine squared. 1 minus cosine squared, okay. Hmm. Let's see, does that do anything for me? Let's see, 1 minus sine squared times cosine, uh, wait, no, you said cosine squared, right? Whoops, sorry. Whoops, whoops, I thought I knew trick. <laughs> and there's another sign, right? Which now makes it doable. Remember last time when we had, when I got rid of the exponents? You, you could make one of these u and the other one's du and vice versa. Look, this could be a du, couldn't it? What if it was just, forget this, what if it's just this? Isn't this negative du? Hmm? If u is cosine, du is negative sine, right? So, what does that do for you? Hmm? All right, Ethan knows stuff. Okay, well, might as well just distribute it. We've got cosine squared x minus cosine fourth x. That's a square. I don't know what happened there. This thing's getting slippery here. All right, sine x dx. And we're integrating that. So it's really two integrals. It's cosine squared sine dx minus cosine fourth sine dx. Who's you? All right, now it's easy. Who's u? If u is cosine, then du is negative sine x dx. So you're going to replace sine x dx with negative du. So what's the integral of negative u squared du? Wait, what? Who? First cosine? It's called distribution. Oh, I got that. Okay. Forget this guy for a second. If you could distribute the sine dx and have two separate integrals. So forget this for one minute. What is, well, how do you integrate cosine squared sine dx? If this is u, 
That's negative du. If this is u squared, right? So. Oh, 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 I see. Wait, you substituted for both of them? Yeah, this will do next. You Let's just, yeah. This is u squared. This is u to the fourth. This is two separate integrals, OK? All right, so if this is negative u squared du, how do you integrate negative u squared du? You get negative u to the third over three, but u is cosine. OK. And then, again, this is u to the fourth du, and I'm going to change it to a negative, right? So plus what? Cosine to the fifth over five. There you go. Done. So when you get wacky powers of sines and cosines, you should use a trig identity that you know. Hmm. Interesting. Okay? So the trick was replace sine squared with one minus cosine squared or cosine squared with one minus sine squared. That's the game. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> We're on YouTube, but nobody heard that. Yeah. Okay. I, it, it's not. All right. No, it's not coming on the mic, so whatever. Um, so, any questions how we did that? So, when you have wacky powers of sines and cosines, play around with Pythagoras, right? It's called the Pythagorean trig identity, okay? Sine squared plus cosine squared is one. Um, good. Let's try another one. This is really not new. It's just stuff you, you know how to do. I'm just reminding you that you know it. Okay. Any idea how we could do that one? That's, that, that's definitely not a use-up because if you make u cosine, du is, you know, negative sine dx. There's no negative sine dx. No, no. Do it. What do you mean? Be a little more specific. Uh, well, okay, can you make it a u sub? There's cosines here. Can you get sines in here somehow? Yeah, you can. So you can take two Yeah, it doesn't work with odd powers, though. That's good for even powers. We'll get to that. Okay, I like the one minus sine squared. But, all right, let's write that. All right, you have 1 minus sine squared uh, x. That's really cosine squared, right? Times what's left. Well, cosine cubed then. That's what I said. I know. I'm writing down what you said. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you made it sound like, oh, I, I like this. Yeah, I like it, but not quite. Why not? Because if this is u, that's not du. If this is u, that's not du. But you're on the right track. What if I did that? Oh, yeah. Right? Because 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared. So if I square that, that's cosine fourth. This takes care of four factors of cosine right here. And then there's another one. All right, so can we do that? Si. Si, senor. All right, so what do we do? Well, um, hmm, I don't know. It's not doable yet. What would you do next? It's there. It's almost there. What would you do next? What's your favorite four-letter word? Starts with an F. Foil. Thank you. All right. So let's foil. 1 minus 2 sine squared plus sine to the fourth. Now it's three integrals. It's cosine x dx, it's negative 2 sine squared cosine x, uh, cosine x dx, and it's positive sine to the fourth cosine x dx. Cosine oh, wait. Now foil this out. Go ahead. No, what? Why does it want cosine? Because oh, it's, it's outside, it's outside. Ethan, you were going to say what? There's a lot of different ways you could do the use of, yeah. I'm trying to make it simple. Okay, yeah, you could play with that. Dif different kinds of use ups, that's fine. Um, so let's do it. So think of this as three separate integrals. One times cosine x. How do you integrate cosine x? 
What's the integral of cosine? Sine. Okay. Sine x. Okay. Now we've got negative 2 sine squared x cosine. Who's you? Just look at the middle part only. Negative 2 sine squared cosine. Who's you? <coughs> if u is... No, remember we said we wanted to make this our du, right? So sine is u. If sine is u, is that du? Or is that negative du? That's yeah. the only... That's u. That's du, right? So you got u squared du. How do you integrate u squared du? u to the third over 3 times this negative 2. So minus 2 u squared, remember, uh, sorry, u cubed over 3, and u is sine. There you go. And now how about this one? Sine to the fourth x, cosine x, dx, who's u? Sine.